necessary part of the restoration of crest is the removal of metal fixtures and fittings. Some are removed to be refurbished and others to be replaced. In many cases removal is necessary to restore or replace damaged timbers to which they have been attached. Fixtures and fittings on the mast are cleats, the locating pin for the tabernacle, internal halyard pulley, the steaming light and the masthead fitting which secures the shrouds and forestay. All fittings, some of which will need replacing, have been removed to restore the mast timber. The removal of the galvanised iron handrail, which needs some refurbishment, has allowed for proper access to the foredeck timbers, some of which need replacing. The crest has four brass portholes, all of which need refurbishment. At this stage, one on the starboard side has been removed to facilitate the replacement of damaged hull planking. The removal of the tiller has been necessary in order to remove the rudder post, which needs replacing. The stainless steel steering wheel and its mechanism has been removed while still attached to the mounting boards. The diesel fuel tank held by three rubber straps has been removed and will need replacing. The Crest's three-cylinder diesel engine, removed some years ago, is undergoing extensive restoration. The drive shaft, positioned under the cockpit floor, ran through two bearing mounts and inner and outer stuffing boxes. Between the two stuffing boxes and concealed in the deadwood, was a 60 centimetre long brass tube encasing and protecting the drive shaft. After removal of packing material and the shaft, it was discovered that the tube had become brittle and all but degenerated. The drive shaft itself is in two sections, a 150 centimetre long stainless steel shaft at the propeller end and a 190 centimetre long mild steel intermediate shaft at the engine end. The intermediate shaft is to be replaced and the bearing mounts and stuffing boxes need repair and or replacement. A new propeller is needed. In the next video we will look at the work involved in restoration and refurbishment of the Crest's timber keel.